Hi, this is Mark Laughlin with the Ambidextra Gunfighter. For my zeroing series, we're back with the Caltech SU-16 with the Weaver Grand Slam, and I have her set on uh, full power, full magnification. It's five power is max. It's a 5.56 uh, rifle, and uh, with the Vortex mount, pretty, pretty decent setup. Now, if you're familiar with the SU-16, you know they have a, a pop-out bipod. I'm not a fan of bipods. Uh, I've actually mounted in a, a sling stud so I can use my loop sling. The reason I like bipods is because the terrain varies too much and you drop a bipod into dirt, it's going to behave differently than if you're on a hard surface, rock or concrete, or if you're in sand. It's just, it's just it brings uh, too many variables, the variables of the terrain, it brings that into your rifle. And I like to isolate that with my sling and body. So. Um, this uh, Weaver has a, uh, a duplex reticle and uh, no uh, bullet drop compensating stuff. So this is uh, straightforward. Uh, it's not like the ACOG where we, we have that beat bullet drop compensator to account for. Uh, and so we've got, here's our reticle. We've got uh, the, the dark reticle lines there and then the thin ones in the center. And so again, we're going to zero at 25 and look for the impact at the, the distance zero at 300. And we're going to aim this dead center on the target because this is the, at this point at 25 meters is the 25 zero and the 300 yard zero. Now, if you're shooting this uh, in uh, at other distances, say you're shooting, if you're hitting the, shooting at the target that's say 150 or 200 yards away, you're going to have to hold down about uh, four to five inches, and that's something. Again, we'll have to. I'll zero here at 25, and then we need to ver we need to verify this information at a, at full distance. We need to verify it at 300, and then verify what's happening in between as well, and then further on out for the 400, 500 yard ranges. So, anyway, that's uh, that's the plan. Zero is dead on using a loop sling with the Caltech SU-16. Eyes and ears and microphone. Plug hooked up here with the loop sling. right I shoot center the very center square so let's get my natural point of aim here it's gonna be a challenge switching from rifles because my BCM has a, a terrific trigger and honestly I don't remember what the trigger was like on this it's been a long time since I've shot this rifle Well, let's see how this looks. I don't actually don't even see where it's hitting, so I may need a bigger piece of paper. Let's go have a look. So that uh, SU-16, I did shoot that in a apple seed known distance once and did manage to get the score. Uh, but and that, but I did notice that as the day got really really hot, and it's like I don't know if the, either I got burned out or what. Yeah, look at that. Nothing on paper. We probably have a probably have a really nice group somewhere. <laughs> so um, what I'll do uh, is I'll actually come in closer 
so I can at least get on paper and see you know which where I need to make an adjustment so let's do that okay I made the my closer shots uh, without doing it on video I didn't want to move the camera and, uh, and drag all this stuff over here with the tripod but I came down here at about uh, about midway on my 25 yard range just guessing uh, close enough I just need to see which way I need to go with the adjustment and I did get some information and here it is right right there there is my group and there was my aiming point so we are here's the center so we are one two three four say four minute of angle to the right so I need to shift four minute of angle to the left and then one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen up so eighteen up and four left can we remember that eighteen up and four left uh, I usually write this down usually 25 meters my is about the limit of my remembering shit like that but uh, 18 up and four left yeah get us close enough because we're gonna have to shoot again because I really just threw it down on the ground and and made quick shots didn't really get my natural point of aim just wanted to get us on paper so we can actually do this at 25 so I'll be back once I've uh, made my adjustments all right we're uh, we're back after making my adjustments at the uh, about 12 and a half uh, yard distance and it was remember it was 18 up had to come up 18 minute of angle and this is a quarter of minute min, quarter of minute per angle per click so uh, 72 clicks up so you're probably appreciating that I didn't sit there and and let you watch me count 72 up on the uh, my optic here then we were doing a four minute of angle left and so that at quarter minute of angle clicks that's 16 clicks left so if I did everything right and I didn't get the direction backwards which would really suck if I got it right we should be close enough now that we can uh, we can fire for effect and and make some fine tuning here on this one um, I don't necessarily consider this like a super you know super accurate rifle but it is it is able to do the job and it is so lightweight and backpackable folds right up but uh, we're not doing a review of the Caltech SU-16 we're just uh, supposed to be sighting it in but I do really like this SU-16 uh, sometimes doesn't get the love it deserves I think not that I haven't had troubles with it this one has actually been into them back to Caltech for a new receiver when the receiver cracked they took care of it and I feel like I need uh, to raise the comb on this thing. I'm not really getting a very good cheek weld, but we'll make do here. We'll do a chin weld. Maybe I shouldn't have said bad things about the SU-16, huh? Okay, so we gotta remember though, when I was shooting at 12 point, say approximately 12.5 yards, uh, at that range, one minute of angle is uh, one eighth of an inch uh, at, at that distance. So it's not 72 clicks up, it's 144 clicks up. That seems like a lot, but that's what I put in. And, uh, and so let's fire and see how she goes. And I did uh, the appropriate clicks for left as well. So wish me luck. Oh, 
Yeah, these these freaking gnats, man, they're insane, drive you nuts. Uh, and then these muffs like amplify them. <laughs> I'll have to turn them, turn my muffs off because it makes it just all that much more annoying. Probably wouldn't be such a baby about it if I didn't have to hear them so much. Alright, looks like the elevation's about right, but I must have went the wrong direction on the windage because it's about as much as I expected in the other direction. So let's see if I can remedy that. Actually, maybe I better run down and, and check it real quick. Alright, yeah, I definitely uh, shanked the uh, scope adjustment in the wrong direction. Should have brought my reading glasses. Sometimes these arrows, I can't quite distinguish which way they're pointing with the little tails on them. So I want to go left, uh, 11 minutes of angle, which will be 44 clicks. So yeah, I'm looking at this, I think maybe I did go the wrong way. 44 to the left. There's 22. There's 44. Man, hope those uh, hope those are our quarter quarter minute of angle per click. We'll soon find out. If you want to find out how to determine how uh, if your optic is really truly quarter minute of angle or half minute angle or whatever they claim it is, there is a drill and I've got it on the uh, on amgun.com. You can. Check out the video on how to do a little around the world testing of your optic. Okay. I need to try to get a steady position. I've been kind of sucking a little bit. I may do one little more tweak on her, but I think for the most part I'm going to call that good and probably just maybe make a minor adjustment and call her good. Let's go have a look. It's getting freaking hot and humid and these freaking bugs. And I still want to do the 4570. Alrighty, we're, there we are. A little bit of vertical stringing. Yeah, it could come over to the, to the left, maybe, uh, maybe two more minutes of angle. So I'll go dial that in, and then we're gonna switch to the 4570. It's Mark Laughlin with Ambidextra Gunfighter. If you found this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe. Check out the next video with the Marlin, Guide Gun, 4570.